Um, hello, I would like to welcome you all here today to our symposium on the migrant crisis in Europe. Um, I'm Dr. Alexandra Prodromido and I'm a lecturer at the business department um, of the International Faculty of the University of Sheffield City College. Um, the event today is organized, uh, the, the event organized today is based on a proposal I co-authored with um, Dr. Pavlos Gassis um, on the effects that the migrant crisis has on the countries of the um, Balkan corridor, the effect on the socio-political and economic stability of the corridor. Um, as we all know, the migrant crisis has assumed massive proportions in the last years, um, accumulating into a humanitarian crisis in our region. Um, now, especially since the attacks uh, in November 2015 uh, on Paris, the main tendency at the moment for all the countries, um, both at the EU and individual level, is to fortify their borders, both the internal borders of the countries and the external borders of the EU. Now, the purpose of this is obviously to push the crowd of migrants into the EU periphery and potentially to actually stop the migrants by reaching EU soil altogether. However, a solution of a closed Europe um, is problematic in at least two ways. The first one is that this kind of policy um, of a closed Europe has no guarantees at all that it might work. The second one is that even if the flow of migrants stopped today altogether immediately, then we would still have to face all these migrants that are confined inside the countries of the Balkan corridor. Now, I'm using the term migrant on purpose because I'm referring to both refugees and economic migrants. And this is one of the major issues related to irregular um, migration. And if we are to look at this, uh, at this issue realistically, we should include them as well and not just offer solutions um, to the refugees. Now, our proposed project seeks to investigate to what extent could further EU integration, including Turkey and the Western Balkans, uh, could offer a kind of solution to the migrant crisis. Now, the fragmented nature of the corridor, as uh, the title of this um, conference is, creates a multitude of issues related not only to border security, but also to the socio-political and economic stability of the countries involved. Every transit and destination country affected by the migrant crisis is also affected by the sum of the crisis occurring worldwide at the moment. We're talking about the global financial crisis, we're talking about the global migration crisis, and we're talking about a lack of coordination at the international level. So could these issues be resolved without, uh, within a framework of uh, more EU integration or not? And to what extent? That's what we're trying to uh, find. So to this end, we put together a trans-European network of experts from different disciplines um, and different countries in order to create a forum for dialogue and debate on these issues. Now, our partners come from um, disciplines as diverse as politics, international relations, EU studies, migration studies, political economy, economics, legal studies, and so on and so forth. Um, so our partner institutions um, are the Conan Adenauer Stiftung, uh, the Navarino Network, the University of Sheffield, Bilkent University, the University of St. Cyrilus and Methodius, 
Belgrade University, Central European University, and the University of Graz. Now my colleague Pavlos is going to fill you in more on the proposal. Thank you. Hello. Um, nice to see all of you here. Uh, it's uh, really important for us, and uh, it is really important because, uh, uh, as uh, uh, has been said just before, uh, we're trying um, um, hard to increase public engagement, and we're trying to bring people closer to uh, the work that we're doing. Um, I will just be very brief, uh, discussing uh, basically what the, the impact of the project will be. Um, we hope that um, uh, we will keep this um, this coalition, let's say, this network that we've created uh, with uh, so much work uh, alive, and uh, we will be able to further uh, work on all these very important issues that we have been facing in the region, and not just in the region, but uh, in general in uh, the European Union. So basically we hope that um, our, uh, our proposed project and also our proposed network is going to be having an, a very important impact both in the academia but also in the society. It is very important to uh, promote research, to do research, but at the same time for this research to be applied to the needs of the society, to be basically uh, channeled towards uh, um, uh, towards the formulation of policies. And this is my next point, which is the other impact that we want to, uh, to have is uh, on how we can affect uh, the policy making inside the European Union. Because from what my colleague just mentioned, and from what we experience around us, the problem is that uh, at the end of the day, uh, that the European Union in which most of you um, have um, is the only thing you know in terms of uh, how our region has been operating in the last few decades is, uh, as many people think, maybe in the verge of collapse because of all the issues that have been happening in the last few years, first with the Brexit, then the discussion on the Brexit, and now with the migrant crisis, which, as you, I think, all can see, is putting a very, very important stress on the project of EU integration. And we believe that uh, it is always better to bring people together. It is always better to bring countries together. Therefore, we, we are trying basically to see what are the effects of all these issues and mostly of the migration problem on the EU integration in order to promote uh, policy suggestions that will hopefully bring more countries closer. Then, of course, as I've said, we're trying to increase public engagement and um, Basically, we hope that uh, after today's workshop, after today's symposium and tomorrow's workshop, where we're all going to be meeting in this network, uh, we hope that we're going to be promoting more synergies amongst us and we're going to promote more cooperation for all the challenging issues that are lying ahead for our countries and our institutions. So to wrap up, um, I will uh, say that uh, we're going to be having short presentations so, um, as uh, Mr. Zaharis uh, noted, uh, we, we, are, um, we want uh, for the speakers to be as brief as possible because, as you can understand, um, the topic is really hot and um, since we have a full house, uh, people will really want to ask questions. And uh, I think we have brought all the necessary people here to answer these questions as best as possible. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the symposium.